So sometimes you could use uh, basic shapes to make something more complex. Uh, if I were to draw this shape here and I wanted to um, make it one single shape, it would certainly be a pain for me to take that pen tool, make this perfect sort of circle shape, and then turn directions and go all the way around and try to make this work. It's a lot easier if I could just take uh, these tools or these shapes that I've made uh, and use a tool to combine them all together. So I'm going to start off by selecting all three of those circles and then I'm going to go to this tool here. This is the Shape Builder tool and when I click on it um, and then take it over to the art area and float around you can see that each of those little shapes, kind of like a Venn diagram, each of those little shapes become uh, sort of this grid color. But if I click in one of them uh, click and then drag a line through each of those shapes you can see it combines together to make a single shape. Let's do that again with this here. Click and then drag it through and it becomes a single shape. So I've used basic circles to make a more complex shape. Now it works uh, when you want to cut a hole out of something as well. So we've got these two circles here, two ovals here, making a sort of O shape. But if I were to bring this over on top of the other drawing we did, we can see that that's not a hole, it's not cut out. So to cut something out, we're going to again select both shapes, and we're going to go to that shape builder again. And this time, instead, instead of clicking and dragging any lines, we're just going to hold down Alt and, uh, clicking on, and we'll click on that little section in the middle. Now, it doesn't necessarily look like it did anything, but if I were to take this and now drag it over that other art, you can see that it's clearly now a hole cut out of that shape. Okay, so let's do some things with colors and strokes. I'm going to take both of these objects and I'm going to uh, color them in red, make their fill color red. And then I'm going to take the stroke and I'm going to make it much thicker. I'm probably going to take it all the way up to about 8 on both of them. Go ahead and do that. So then if I zoom in on this, you can see that when I put a stroke or an outline on a shape, it kind of straddles the shape that I've drawn. It's uh, aligned to the center. Uh, we can use the stroke panel, which shows up either when I click on the word stroke up here, which is where I usually go to it, or I have the stroke panel over here on the right. Uh, but I'm going to go up here to this one, and I can change it to align in a couple of different ways. I can get it to align to the inside, and now you see the black outline is completely on the inside of the shape that I've drawn, or I can align it to the outside. So go ahead and take yours and align it to the outside on this shape. So we have one stroke here, one outline on this. There's also a way to put multiple outlines on an object. I've uh, scrolled over to the O shape here, and I'm going to bring up the appearance panel. This is the appearance panel here. It kind of looks like two circles, one on top of the other. And when I click on it, I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. Uh, but when I click on it, it tells me all the properties of the shape that I have selected. So I have a fill that's red, and I have a stroke that's eight points. I can go ahead and take that eight point stroke and align it to uh, the outside at this point, and it says align to the outside here in the appearance panel. So pull up your appearance panel, and it's here in the appearance panel that we can add multiple strokes or multiple outlines. There's a lot of reasons why we might want to have multiple outlines. If you look at a number of different uh, uh, logos from the world of sports, like the, the Ducks logo here, Oregon Ducks, you can see that it actually has two outlines. It has a white outline and then a yellow outline. Um, and this is done in Illustrator. This can be done in Illustrator um, by using the appearance panel. So I'm actually going to take that black stroke that we've already created and I'm going to uh, drag it down to the new icon. Most of the panels in uh, Illustrator and Photoshop have this icon where I can just take it, drag it there, and I have two copies, one right on top of the other. I've got two uh, two outlines right now, one stacked right on top of the other. So right now they don't look like anything because it's an eight point stroke sitting on top of an eight point stroke. So on the bottom stroke, and this is the stacking order, the one that's on top in the panel is on top in our drawing. The bottom stroke, I'm going to ch change the color first. I'm actually going to change it to red. Um, I'm use the same red, I think, as my letter. Okay, And then as I make it slightly bigger, you see it start to nudge its way out and show up. So I made mine 16 because that's double of 8. So now these two strokes or these two outlines are the same thickness all the way around. 
doesn't have to be. You can make it smaller if you want that second outline to be smaller. But that's how you put multiple outlines on an object.